Do you often work with dates entry in Excel and you'd like a cool date picker like this? Click in the cell and a little calendar icon appears and you pick the date like this. This is of course very possible and easy to set up in your Excel and it will save you time especially if you're designing data entry tables for users. So I'm going to show you how to set this one up for yourself in just two simple steps. But before we start, if you're new to this channel, consider subscribing, click the bell icon so you don't don't miss any future videos like this. All right, so to get started, you'll open any browser of your choice. And when it opens in your search area, you need to type in this website. It's actually called samradaapps.com slash date picker. Hit enter key on your keyboard. And when you are at this site, you need to scroll down until you see the download button. It's over here. So when you click the download button, your download will start and it will download as a compressed zip folder. Let me go ahead and save it on the desktop. There you go. Now the next thing you need to do is to extract the file. So I will right click and then click on extract all and then I will choose the desktop. I click on extract and then it will get extracted onto my desktop. This is the file that we are actually going to use to configure our date picker in Excel. So the second and last step, let's open a blank new Excel workbook and when it opens, click on the file menu, navigate to options and when this Excel options dialog box opens, click on add-ins then you need to come over to manage Excel add-ins and make sure Excel add-ins options is selected. Then click on go. When this small dialog box opens, you need now to browse for the add-in that you just downloaded from the other website. And we had saved our file on the desktop. So I'll go ahead and click on browse. Then I locate the file which we saved on the desktop. It's actually this one over here. Double click on the file and there you go. Your date picker is now installed and you can see a check mark is already placed inside the checkbox. And that one signifies that it's already activated. So you go ahead and click OK. After you've done that, then you'll see your date picker appear on your Excel ribbon over here. So let me expand the grid a little bit so that we can start testing our date picker. I click over in this cell, click on my date picker, and I have a number of options. If, for example, I only need date without time, I will click on the first option. My date is automatically entered. And when I click in the next cell over here, I get a little icon pop up over here, which I can now click and my calendar option will pop up. Then I can go ahead and select any date of my choice. For example, I want to input 1st March 2022. I just click once I move to the next cell, my date picker options appears. Then you can use these buttons over here to move to the next month. If you want to go forward, you use this icon over here. If you want to go backwards, click on this icon. Alternatively, if you don't use these buttons to either move forward or backwards, you can click on the month name and then the month options will pop up like this. Then now you can pick the specific month of your choice. If you learned something out of this video, consider subscribing to this channel, leave a like and a comment, and I will be happy to reply to any of your comments.